cave deep beneath the mountain is the great bull, Zeus, son of Rhea, goddess and first mother. There he is born, and there he dies, and there he rises again, to roar and toss the world on his horns, that men shall know his power, and their pride be humbled, and the cities of men shall tumble and fall. German forces have invaded Crete. Last night, the 20th of May, enemy aircraft attacked British warships, and hundreds of German soldiers were parachuted onto the island. Foundations crack, crack, crack. Top, top, the god has gone and the city cities falls, and across the sea comes the invader, the raining wind, and black ships cutting us up through the waves, those merciless barbarians bearing the bringer of bring death. Arthur, are you awake? I've brought tea. I'll leave it here. I wasn't asleep. I know. Just dozing. Pour it out, will you, Joan? Of course. Can you see someone? What? Down there, by the lake. There's no one by the lake. Sure. Here's your tea. Can you manage it? Of course I can. <clears throat> Don't spill it. I won't. <clears throat> I think perhaps you ought to come in after you've had this. <clears throat> it is getting quite late. I thought it was Mackenzie. The figure. Mackenzie. Yeah. I thought it'd come to see me. Of course I know it couldn't have been just a dream. Must have dropped off a moment. It's hateful being old. You do very well for a man who's just turned 90. Yeah. I was thinking about Crete the first time we went there. When I think of what we did, what we achieved, a whole civilization rescued, resurrected, and now the Germans are there. Tramping all over Knossos, my palace. Arthur. When I think of that poor country, it's as if it's been lost again. Don't. You'll just get upset. I've a right to be upset. Oh. Now see what you've done. You've got tea all over your oh, jacket. Stop fussing. It's only tea. It's the thought of never seeing it again. Never being able to go back there, walk there, rest my hand against the stones. Stones 4,000 years old. Stones I brought into the light again. My palace. You'd better clear these things away. I, I'm sorry for spilling the tea. As you say, it doesn't matter. I'll take them in. That's the place, Mackenzie. Where we're going to dig the Hill of Kefala. It's impressive. A big site. You uh, own it, do you? I bought the rights to dig there five years ago. But I couldn't do much about it, not with the Turks still in power. Mm. Now I've got a free hand and I'll buy the place outright if I find there's anything of real value. And what do you expect to find? I wouldn't be so presumptuous as to expect anything. But I'll tell you what it is I'm looking for. Look at this. Hmm? An ordinary seal stone. I bought this in a shop in Athens six years ago. Take a close look at it. What do you see? It's uh, hard to see. There are some lines. Hieroglyphs. It's a language, Mackenzie. A written language. I was sure of it the moment I saw it. Words scratched in stone 4,000 years ago. And do you know where this came from? Crete. That's right. That's what first led me here. I found hundreds of stones like this all over the island. The women wear them as lucky charms, galopteris, they call them. Milk stones. And by far the most of them were found there. Kefala. That's what the Turks called it. 
But the Cretans call it by another name, Knossos. The city of King Minos, the home of the Minotaur. That's older than anything in Homer. And I'd like to bet that whatever is under that hill is older than Troy or Mycenae or anything else that's been discovered up to now. Homer's heroes, the Mycenaeans, the whole of Western culture, they all have their origin here on Crete. The marks on this stone were made here. Words in a forgotten language. That's what I want to find under that hill. The voice of the ancient world. She came from she came across, from across the, sea, the sea, riding on the back, on of, the back of, a of a white bull. And the brow of the, brow of the bull was garlanded with flowers. flowers. A long time, a long they, time journeyed they journeyed over the waves, over the waves until, until at last they, last they came to the land of Crete. Of Crete. And there, and there, the bull was the bull revealed to her as Zeus. And together, and together they, they come, and a son and was born to her. And, and his name was Minos, the horned, the horned, the horned one, king of this king of this builder of builder cities, of cities writer, and writer of the law. The work we do here will be important, Mackenzie. I want this excavation to be carefully planned and executed, and recorded. Every stone, every fragment of pottery, time, date, location, description. It needs a good man to supervise the whole operation. Someone with experience who knows what he's doing. And that's why you're here. If you're willing, of course. Yeah, I'm willing. It's a grand project. There'll be no problem with funding, either. I have money. So I'd had. Uh, but enough for all this? Yes, enough. When I got that telegram from you, I wasn't sure what to think. I was looking for something else to work on. I had told Hogarth... He recommended you. Your work at Philacope, in particular. He told me you developed a unique system there of dating pottery. Unique and accurate. That was very decent of him. He spoke highly of you. Said you were one of the best he'd ever come across at the school in Athens. He did mention you'd been ill. He wasn't specific. He said you were in hospital for a time. A short time. It was just exhaustion, really. I overdid it a bit over at Philacope. Too many hours, not enough sleep, that kind of thing. It all just got a bit too much for me. But I'm fine now, fighting fit. Never felt better. I'm ready for this. I'm glad. But... When do you propose to start? Next month. The weather will be better then. Very propitious. The first spring of a new century. Do you have a workforce yet? No. That ought to be our first job, then. You can leave that to me. A month should be time enough. <laughs> the state this country's in, they'll be plenty glad of the work. Shall we uh, shake on it, then? Yes. I'll tell you what. I've got an even better idea. Let's drink on it. Uh, very well, if you wish. We'll go back to Heraklion and find ourselves a nice little caffenio and drink to the deal. Racky. Do you drink racky? I prefer wine. Ah, uh, well... We'll make an exception this time. This is a serious business, Evans, and Raki is a most serious drink. There was the beginning of it, on that hillside. Mackenzie standing above me, and his eyes gazing towards Kefala, as if he could already see the ancient city of Knossos risen, and the darkness opening beneath it. Kyria Mackenzie! Manolis! Apo Ethel! Ella! Suvlepo! Echome! This is him. Manolis, is it? Ah, that's right. He's uh, very enthusiastic. Let's hope his abilities match his enthusiasm. Kyria Mackenzie! Tikanis! Kala! Esi Manoli? Kala! Polikala! Nasus it's Tiso, Kyria Evans. Mr. Evans, I am very glad to meet you. Boris Namilas Selinika and Thilas. I'd rather he spoke English. For heavens. I would prefer it. If you don't mind, Manolis. No, I don't mind. I can speak English. Good. Please sit down. Thank you. I speak English well, Mr. Evans. I learned it uh, when I was on Kypros. You were on Cyprus? I worked on excavations there. Three years. Have you worked anywhere else? Uh, yes, uh, here on Crete, when I was a boy. At Kefala? Yes. Who with? A man called Minos Kalokerios. A good name for a Cretan. <laughs> he was searching for his ancestor there. The great king of the old days. The days of the gods. But he didn't find him. 
He found a wall and some jars. Mm. And things like this. He gave this stone to me. Wear it round your neck, Manoli, he said to me. Wear it that you never forget where you came from. And who are your true mother and father. May I look at it? Of course. It is my gift to you, Kire Evans. Why didn't he dig any deeper? The bay who owned the land would not let him. It was bad here for us in those days. Bad for a long time. But no more. It's good now. And you will find our gods for us again. Mr. Mackenzie tells me you can find people to dig. Yes, I can find people. It's no problem. How many? About 30 for now. Perhaps more later, depending on what we find. We plan to start digging as soon as Easter's finished. I'll have 30 good men for you by then. And women. Mr. Mackenzie informs me that men work better with their women nearby. <laughs> it's true, yes. They make us uh, behave ourselves. <laughs> All right, men and women. And not just Christians. I'd like there to be Muslims working there too. An equal number, if possible. I'm not sure that is possible. You mean to get an equal number? Or to recruit Muslims at all? There has been much uh, bitterness here, Kiria. Many evil things done during the war. On both sides, I know. And it's just for that reason that I want both Christians and Muslims to work alongside each other, as colleagues, if not friends. It may do something to heal that bitterness. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. And I shall do what I can. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, then, it seems our business is concluded. Would you like a coffee in Manoli? No, no, thank you. I will begin my duty straight away. But tonight we will meet here and I shall buy you both a drink. Wine, raki. Yes? Yes, indeed, my friend, we will. Thank you for your offer, but I must decline. There is work I have to do another time, perhaps. Uh, very well. Uh, I'll uh, be here, if that's all right with you, Evans. Of course. <laughs> I'll see you tonight, my friend. Yes. That's what I thought. Adio. Adio. Where did you find him? <laughs> he found me. Word gets around. I uh, think he's a good man. I'm sure you're right. You appear to be on quite familiar terms with him. Well, it's hard not to be. He's a very engaging fellow, don't you think? He has a charm about him, yes. Still, it doesn't do to be too familiar, you know. We must maintain some distance for the sake of order and discipline. Is that why you insisted he spoke English? Yes. I like to speak the language. It helps you to understand them, get under the skin. That's important, too, and they love you for it. I can do without their love as long as I have their respect and their obedience. Have you seen this he gave me? It's actually quite remarkable. Look at the figures cut into it. They're still quite plain after all this time. I can't quite make them out. Can't you? Perhaps you ought to suffer from my particular ailment. Myopia can have its advantages. Two figures. Uh, one standing, one kneeling, I think. It's interesting what he said. What that chap Minos told him. Do not forget who are your true mother and father. Or is one some kind of animal? Yes, it is. One of the figures is a woman. And the other's a bull. Look, up there, an eagle. Yes, I see it. The bird of Zeus. A good omen, perhaps. It is. And there is the god himself watching over us. What? Mount Yuktas. We call it the sleeping Zeus. Some say that the god himself is buried there. 
Well, then, let's see if we can't wake him and raise him from the dead. Uh, ready to start, then? Yes. Give them the word, Manoli. Vivers. Dipon, peviamu. Achiste. It was a fine day, I remember. Clear and warm. Late March. I felt like a child again. That excitement as they began to dig, wondering what would be uncovered. As when I was a boy, and my father showed me the things he found in France. Flint, axes, bones. Older than the Bible, he said. Ancient secrets brought into the light. The touch of the past. Solid. Real. Men's hands made these. Evans! Over here! Look! Look at this! What is it? I think we've found what it is you came looking for. From almost the first day, Kefala yielded its secrets to us. Finds quite unlike anything that had been discovered before. Delicate flowers painted onto glazed clay. Sprays of leaves, abstract patterns of swirling lines and curves, colors almost as bright as when they were first painted. Hand them up to me. Let me see. Oh. Careful. Sorry, Kirie. Well, Evans, was I right? I think so, yes. Yes. See these marks? Hieroglyphs. Writing. <laughs> Precisely where did you find these? Just here, Kyrie. And there are more. Are they good, Kyrie? Yes, Mon Ali. They are good. I did well, eh? You've done very well, my friend. We'll celebrate this in the taverna tonight. I shall look forward to that. <laughs> Signs cut in stone. Words. Writing. And there was nothing Greek about them. Nor anything else we found. As I stood there among those ruined houses and blackened walls, I knew that what had lain buried and hidden there was not just a city, not just an ancient palace. It was an entire civilization. A people lost and unknown to history for more than 3,000 years. The Minoan. It's pouring out there. Pouring in here, too. See the roof? <laughs> I'll have to get something done about that. Is that a towel? Somewhere. Oh. We just about managed to get the cover over the pit before the heavens opened. Manoli said it proved Zeus must be on our side. Right over the table where I left the tablets. <laughs> what? The hole in the roof. Three of them are ruined. Luckily, we have quite a few. There's still quite a few in the ground, I should think. Managed to make anything of them. It's early days yet. There's a full time job ahead just cataloguing them, never mind trying to decipher them. <laughs> Thank you, Will. I'll have a damn good try. They could tell us so much about these people. <laughs> ah, well, there's a lot more work to do before we can start making speculations. Oh, I don't know about that. We already know that the people who lived here, the people who built Knossos, weren't my senior. Uh, we think. It's obvious. The style of building, pottery, decoration, it's quite unlike anything found on the mainland. They were a different people, civilised people, not warlike. They built this city and others like it, most probably. They flourished and then something happened. Some catastrophe struck and destroyed them, wiped them out of history. There's plenty of evidence of that. Invaders from the mainland, perhaps. Homer's Achaeans. Possibly. Or the Minotaur, the beast at the heart of the labyrinth. There may be something in that. There's truth in the old myths, and whatever the truth is, I shall find it. Ah, oh, well, you're not going to find it tonight, so why don't we leave it now and go out? Out? In this weather? We've been invited to a glandy. What's this one in aid of? Actually, it's Manoli's name day. Is it? I see. He'd like it if you went. It would make him very proud. I'm sure it would. He asked me especially to ask... I'd rather not go. Why not? I really don't feel up to it. That's a shame. He's a grand fellow once you get to know him. A real salt of the earth. All the same. I'll give him your apologies then. You're going? Of course. In this weather? It's not far to the taverna. Yes, but 
You've already got a touch of fever. I appreciate your concern for my welfare, old man, but I think I'll be all right. Look, don't you think it would be better if you stayed here? There are things to talk about, discuss. I've had enough of talking. Anyway, I promised him. Well, then, you'd better go. I intend to. I won't be late. I'll try not to wake you. Here, drink some of this. Thanks. Take it easy, not too much. A little more. All right, just a little. I'm sure I'll be all right soon. No, you won't. You've got a fever. Your temperature's sky high. I did warn you about going out in the rain last night. It wasn't that. The whole place is full of fever. Everyone's got a touch of it, even you. You've got more than a touch. And you won't be working today. Don't want you overdoing it again, do we? What? You're too good a man to lose. This isn't the same thing. Just a touch of fever. Still... You're right. Perhaps I'd better stay here. I'll be all right tomorrow. Manoli can run things. He's more than capable. About Manolis. I wonder if you should keep his company so much. I mean, I know you're fond of him and all that. But is it really appropriate? What... What are you talking about? What's Manoli got to do with it? I just think perhaps it isn't doing you much good. Your being with him so much. You know what these people can be like. He may take advantage. Take advantage? What do you mean? I mean... Mackenzie! Heavens! Are you there? Speak of the devil. Mackenzie, I must speak with you. There is a problem. I better go. You try and get some sleep. Heavens. I'll come back later and see how you're getting on. Kira Evans, is Mackenzie there? Yes, but he's ill. Ill? A fever. I'm afraid he got it going out last night. Oh, I'm sorry for that. So you should be. I will go and see him later. No, you won't. You'll leave him be. You said there was a problem. Yes, some of the men are saying they will not work. Will not work? Why in heaven's name not? They are afraid, Kyrie. The place we were digging yesterday... The throne room, yes. What of it? You did make it secure, didn't you? Oh, yes, Kyrie. It isn't that. They are afraid of what is down there. And what is down there that makes them so afraid? Spirits, Kyrie. They say the place is haunted. Oh, that's ridiculous. Of course, Kyrie. But you know these people... I sometimes they... wonder if I do... What kind of spirits do they think are down there? Ancient. From a long time back. You had better speak to them, Kyrie. No, Manolis. You had better speak to them. Mackenzie told me you are more than capable of running things, so prove him right. Get your men back to work, now. If they still refuse, I shall hold you personally responsible. Is that clear? Yes, Kyrie. It is very clear. Perhaps Mackenzie was right. We all had a touch of fever. The place was rife with it. And the deeper we dug, the closer we came to the heart of the place, the more we seemed to become infected with it. As if Knossos was somehow coming to life, haunting us all, our dreams, our waking lives, with visions not of this world. I saw them myself. That night I couldn't sleep. I went out there. All that we discovered so far lay before me. Houses, courtyards, the palace. And they shone in the moonlight. The whole city illuminated. And then I thought I saw, I did see, Knossos as it had been, the city of Minos. And moving through its streets... A slow procession, figures flickering torches, and leading them, a man in a bull's mask carrying an axe, double-bladed. They passed by me close enough to touch, to 
see their skin glistening in the torchlight. They passed by me and were gone. But for one figure remaining out there on the courtyard, a single figure dancing. Manolis. Kyria Evans. What are you doing out here? You told me to keep watch for fear of theft. Yes, but... There are long nights, and to pass the time I sing, and sometimes I dance. I see. Even when there's no music. There is music, Kyria. In here, my heart. And this is a good place for dancing. I know. Then the strong-armed god cunningly wrought a dancing floor, like that which in wide Knossos Daedalus made of old for fair-haired Ariadne. Ah, Daedalus, the one who built this place. So the old stories say. And the old stories are true, Kyrie. I think there's a truth in them. There is much truth. And you, Kyrie, I think you too are Daedalus. You will build Knossos again from its ruins for the glory of Crete. Then men will dance here again, eh? He danced alone on the wide terrace. And I stood watching him. And I did not know, nor do I know now, if what I saw was actually taking place or was only a continuation of my fevered dream. <laughs> I am a little drunk, Kyrie, I am sorry. <laughs> but only a little. All men should drink a little. All men should dance. That is what makes them true men. Palikaria, young warriors. They grip each other's arms and they dance together and their blood runs hot. Then they can do anything. <laughs> You will dance with me, Kyrie? Me? Yes, come. Take my arm. No. Mackenzie dances. He likes to dance and to drink. <laughs> He's also a palikari. <laughs> Sometimes we dance here together. Here? At night, like this? You did not know. <laughs> Perhaps he thought you would be ashamed of him. He admires you, Kyrie. He thinks you are a great man. He says you see things. See things? Things in the earth before they are found. You know what is there. Vlepetes din psihi tu meru. I see into the soul of the place. Yes, that is what Mackenzie says about you. But not into the souls of men, eh, Kyrie? You do not see what is hidden there. No, I think I'm about. more than a little drunk. <laughs> I do not know what I'm saying. It's a sad thing to drink alone. I will be happy when Mackenzie is well. We will drink and dance together again. No, Manolis. I don't think you will. Good night. Make sure you keep watch. There are valuable things here. If anything is taken, I shall hold you responsible. Kira Evans, I think we are not alone here tonight. What do you mean? The animals know it. You hear them? They are restless, like you, like me. The animals can see them. I think you have seen them too. We have dug up more than stones here. This is a haunted place. Listen. You hear? You hear him? That is the god. The bull that sleeps beneath the earth. He does not sleep anymore. We have woken him. And indeed, the bull was everywhere, on frescoes and reliefs, seal stones and vases, a huge red-eyed bull leaping across a flat wall, human figures somersaulting over the back of a charging bull, everywhere the bull and bull worship, a thing of awe and praise and terror. Have you ever seen a storm like it? 
lightning and thunder and the sky clear. Not a cloud. It's magnificent, don't you think? It is rather impressive. <laughs> Just look at that. The whole damn mountain lit up, just as if it was in fire. No wonder they thought God was born here. I'm starving. I feel as if I hadn't eaten for a month, which is more or less true, I suppose. I didn't realise I'd been so ill. It must have made things difficult for you. We managed. You and uh, Manoli together, eh? How is he? I thought he might have come to see me. I've kept him busy, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm sure you have. Well, you won't have to just manage any more. I'm fighting fit again and hungry. Is there anything to eat? I brought back some bread and cheese and olives from Heraklion. Ah. They're in that bag. <laughs> just the thing. Pity we can't uh, hope for a break in the weather. No chance of that, though. Uh, I think we may have to stop work soon. We can't carry on in this heat. I agree. I thought we might wind up in a week or so and start again in September. You've made uh, plans already, have you? Oh, yes. I found us a house in Heraklion today. Much better than this place. Bigger, too. I'm bringing over some more people. You have been busy. Yes. I found something else while I was in Iraq. This. Do you know what it is? It's a clay tablet with script on it, like one of those we found. It is one of those we found. And as I said, I found it again today in Heraklion. To be more precise, I bought it from the marketplace. And there's only one way it can have got there. It was stolen. That's right. I know there's been some pilfering. This isn't pilfering. It's out and out theft. More than that, it's a betrayal. I really can't tolerate it, and I mean to find out the culprit. How? Ask Manolis. He's the foreman, and he was set to watch the site. And most of the Christians in the workforce are related to him in one way or another. If he doesn't know who took it, he's not the man I thought he was. It may not be so simple as that, you know. Just asking him outright. As you say, he's related to many of these people. They're all very close. It may be a matter of honour. And what about his honour to me? Doesn't that count as anything? You got the thing back. Just tell Manoli what happened and he'll deal with it in his own way. You may have forgotten, Mackenzie, but I run this show, not Manolis. <sighs> And I'll deal with it in my way, not his. Now go and find him and bring him here. And make sure you don't tell him why I want to see him. Just remember where your allegiances lie. Have I made myself clear? Oh, yes. you made yourself very clear indeed. You agree with me that this was taken from the site, Manolis? Yes, Kyrie. And that you are responsible for making sure that nothing is taken? Yes. But this was taken. It is unfortunate, Kyrie. It is, Manolis. Very unfortunate. Especially as I think that you must know who the thief is. Evans! Please, Mackenzie. Well, Manolis, do you know? I do not wish to lie to you, Kyrie. I'm glad about that. So I ask you not to ask me about this. Oh, but I this. do, Manolis. I do ask you because I wish to know. It is important to me. I know, Kyrie. Then Kyria. tell me. I cannot. Because you don't know? Or you know and you will not tell me? Or perhaps because you yourself are the thief? Oh, for goodness sake, Evans, can't you leave? No, I will not leave it. Well, Manolis, who is the thief? Tell me. Who is responsible for this thing being taken? Who is responsible? Yes. I am, Kyrie. I am responsible for all my people. It doesn't mean that, Manoli. I know what it means. Something has been taken and I am responsible. If that is the case... It is, and I will go. No! You will find another foreman and there will be no more thefts. I wish you well with your work. You are doing something wonderful here. You will be a great hero. Manoli, Wait! It's a great pity. 
He was a good foreman. Make sure he receives all his wages before he leaves. You know, he didn't take it. He was responsible. He said so himself. I'm going to fetch him back. You will not! Let him go. It's the only thing to be done. And it's for the best. The only thing to be done. The work was too important for personal feelings to get in its way. He should have known it. But his love for the man blinded him. It was a kind of love, yes. I see that now. But mine too was love. Love for the place. For Knossos. It's lost people. And a desire to understand. To penetrate the dark centre of its mystery. I'm guarding the site, making sure no one comes along and steals it. You can never tell with these bloody cretins. They steal anything. Can't trust any of them. I had a few glasses of rocky, yes. A few glasses? You reek of the stuff. Look at you. You cut a sorry figure. Yes, I know. And I don't care. You ought to. Really isn't the thing, you know, to let yourself get into a state like this. Especially over. Manoli. Especially over Manoli, you mean? Yes. You never really liked him, did you? I thought he was pleasant enough. Good at his job. Until that business. I did. I liked him. We used to dance here, you know, at night sometimes. We'd have a bit to drink and then we'd dance like Cretans. Yes, I know. <laughs> you know? You told me. One night, while you were ill, I came out here. He was here too, and he told me. I must admit, I found it... Rather odd. Not really the kind of thing I thought you should be doing. Is that why, uh, Is that why you got rid of him? Oh, no, of course not. It is. Because you thought... I didn't think it was a healthy relationship. You st stupid man. You stupid, ridiculous little man. <laughs> No reason, no reason at all. And now he's gone. I can't find him anywhere. I went looking for him, but he's gone. There's a fear that they won't tell me where. For God's sake, man, pull yourself together. They won't tell me, do you understand? They know where he is and they won't tell me. I stood and watched him as he wept, tears running down his face, a grown man weeping for another. There, in the ruins of Knossos, I saw him broken, finally saw his weakness at last revealed, and I wanted to put my hand out to him to comfort him, and I raised my hand for that purpose. But at that moment, the bull awoke. The bull beneath the earth. It woke, struck the ground with its hooves, and tossed the world on its horns. Mackenzie! Get down! It's an earthquake! We lay there together on the ground among the ruins. I held him in my arms as he wept with terror. And I knew at that moment how the end had come. I saw the earth shake and split 
wide, saw Knossos fall in flame, destroyed by the very god it had worshipped. And in its wake, out of the drifting smoke, helmeted and grinning to plunder and loot and make the end final, came the invader. The bull beneath the earth, the beast in the labyrinth. We both saw it that night, caught a glimpse of the darkness. Never spoke of it again, though. Never spoke of Manolis. We went back to our work, digging out every broken stone, every fragment that could be salvaged. An entire civilization lost and forgotten, lifted out of the dark to stand once more in the light. The old traditions made true. My life's work a monument to what? The glory of human creation or the fragility of human existence? What we are and what we come to. He died in Italy, his old sickness, and received the telegram. The last time I saw him, he didn't even know who I was. What? What's that? Who's there? I can see someone down there by the lake figures dancing. Mackenzie? Is it? Yes. And Manolis, too. Look at them, round in a circle, arms joined, step and twist and kick. They could be straight out of Homer. The dancing floor Daedalus made for Ariadne. As it was, so it is. What's that? They're calling to me. Calling me to join them. No. No, I can't. Too old now. Too stiff. I'd like to... But I can't. Arthur, are you awake? You really shouldn't sleep out here this time of the evening. It isn't good for you. Come on, wake up. Wake up, Arthur. Arthur? For his part, for his part the killing in the killing at all, Daedalus, Daedalus was imprisoned, was imprisoned, in, imprisoned his labyrinth, in his labyrinth. But he knew, but of, he a knew of a secret passage, passage that led to a clifftop overlooking the sea. And he made, and he wings, made wings from feathers, from feathers wax, and wax and fitted them, and fitted to, them to his arm and flew, and flew away, across, away the across, the across the sea. And some, and say, some say he went to Sicily. Went to Sicily. And some, and say, some he say he flew north to the land beyond the north wind. But in truth... None know where he went, went, or where at last 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 he came to rest. rest. In The Ball Beneath the Earth by David Calcutt, Russell Dixon was Sir Arthur Evans and Geoffrey Banks was Old Sir Arthur. Mackenzie was played by David Bannerman, Manolis by Roger Ennals, The Storyteller by Mia Soteriu and Joan by Olivia Jardith. The music was composed by Mia Soteriu. The play was directed by Michael Fox.